going on guys? Today I'm going to be making an airbag tutorial on how to make airbags in Stormworks. If you guys clicked on this video it is because you want to learn how to make airbags. I'm going to show you how to make them in today's video and it should be fairly simple. Besides once you get the hang of it, it's going to be pretty easy. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. All right, now with all that said, now we are inside of our workbench, and now I'm going to show you guys how to make an airbag system. So I'm just going to design a chassis. I'm going to add an engine, various other things onto it, but the main focus here is the airbag system. So just make your chassis, design it however you wish to. Um, it's not, not going to be hard at all. So it's quite simple once you get the hang of it. So I'm just going to have to say maybe... Eh, about that long, maybe. I don't know. It's whatever. And then from there, you're going to grab a pivot. You're going to put it upside down. Make sure that it is touching this, the blocks you just placed. Once you've placed the pivot upside down, simply just start placing blocks in the exact same area. Only, But instead of touching up here, you want to touch the pivot. The main difference is they're different merge points. So if I place a block on here, it's going to be connected to this. And if I place a block on here, it's going to be connected to this. Well, this, these two separate merge points is what separates the air, or is what separates the chassis from the body. Now that I've just gone ahead and extended that, now we could probably make it just a little bit wider. All right, there we go. Now that it is just a little bit wider and probably even needs to be a little more wider so I could fit a seat and some other various things as a demonstration. So now that we have this, we're going to grab a compact liner track base. So simply just look up track and then grab a compact liner track extension and a compact liner track base. Once you have these two items, go ahead and go to either side. You could choose how many sliders you have, but preferably on my vehicles, I typically put just one in the rear, one in the front, or two in the rear and two in the front. Depends on how you want to design it. So now that we have our small little gap here, we are just going to we're just going to put these sliders like so. So then the plus button. Or so, and the up, so and the plus arrow is pointing upwards. Flip these back around. Now, one thing that is important when you're putting on these sliders, make sure you don't put them on this green piece. Make sure you're attaching them to the upper merge, the red one in this case. Make sure the plus button's facing upwards. Just like that. There we go. Now, as of right now, this thing would not deploy, obviously, since it doesn't have a microcontroller. And another and another reason for that is also because of it simply does not have the room to do so. So we're gonna fix that. In order to fix that, this block has to travel upwards. So in theory, you could actually, this is actually probably a better idea, erase these two here on either side of the green part. So now you have a spot for your track. You're going to put your track just right up in here. So you're going to put an extension and then you're going to put your actual track right there and you're going to do this on all four sides and then I'll show you how to merge all those in just a sec. Great, now that we have all of the tracks now put on, now it will be able to lift and lower to the ground. But not actually, I guess, not quite. 
now you have to go into your merge and you're going to want to left click on either the green part or the actual track and you're going to connect them to each other and ensuring that this that the non assigned sides of the track which the non assigned side would be this you want to ensure that the non assigned side is then assigned to the green once it's assigned to the green you're basically good at that point so great now that now you have an airbag system that can move up and down but we can't make it move up and down necessarily unless we have some microcontrollers so the first microcontroller we're going to be grabbing is a switch box simply just look up a numerical switch box or just look up switch box once you have it simply place it anywhere on your creation just so long as it is placed and you should be okay next thing we're going to grab is a constant number so you're going to go over to your microcontrollers and you're going to grab a constant number we're going to need two of them once again place them wherever you want in your creation typically though when i'm making an airbag system i put them right next to the numerical switch box so they're all close to each other and now from here we go into our selection grid and then we click on one of the constant numbers and set it to negative one we go to the other one and set it to just one. And now with all that done, this is now fully wired. So now we're going to go ahead and grab a toggle button. And we're just gonna put it right there. Maybe even, maybe right here. So we have a room for our seat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some wheels and a seat. So in that way we actually have a way of being able to control this thing. This is also a good example. Another reason why I'm putting wheels on it is so you guys will know, um, you have to connect the wheels to the green part of the merge. If it is not connected to the green and is instead connected to the red, your airbags will not work. So you have to make sure that it is connected to the green part. You'll be able to tell if this little area of your suspension is colored green just like this, or just by placing it on the green part, you'll know if it is connected. Now that we have the wheels on, now we're going to just go ahead and grab a motor just so I can get these things to move. In this case, you could do an engine, you can do whatever you want. However, there is one problem in doing certain things with the chassis, and it's not necessarily a major issue. You just have to make clearance for some things, such as, let's say I place a block here. Now the airbags aren't going to work, because now there's a block blocking it. But if I race above the block, there, now it will work because that block isn't getting caught on anything anymore but i'm not going to do that because i don't really have anything that i need to put there however when you're making let's say a gasoline engine you could just erase a certain amount of area and this will still go up you just don't want anything to hit into the upper merge here otherwise that won't work Another thing to keep in mind is let's say you were to add an engine onto this thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and just grab a cylinder just for a reference. I need to put my engine right here. I don't want it to be on the red part because if I put my engine on the red part, even though it's wired up and you somehow manage to get the pipes not to interfere with e with the green and red area, it's not going to work because the merge has to be on the same that your wheels are on. So since your wheels are connected to the green, your engine must be connected to the green merge as well. Otherwise your engine will not work. But in this case, I'm using electric motors just for a simple little tutorial. So now we're gonna grab all these electric motors and we're just gonna wire them up. Okay, great. Now that those are all wired up, now I'm just going to have to do a couple finishing touches so my vehicle will actually roll.
Okay, so now we are getting into the track controllers. So now I'm going to show you how to actually wire up the airbags and make them work. So by clicking on the selection button, you can you can click on the track base and select the gear ratio. The higher the gear ratio, the slower they're going to move. And the lower the gear ratio, the faster they're going to go. In this case, I'm just going to do the slowest option so you guys can see the airbags work. But you guys, for your creations, can do whatever you want, obviously. Not my creation. This is to help you guys with your creations. So number one in what we're going to do, we're going to grab a button from our toggle. Or the toggle could be from a seat. But in this case, we'll take it from a button. You're going to take the node from the toggle button and wire it to our switch box. And that's... And that is now wired. Now we just have to focus on the rest of it. We're going to take the switch value, the small node, and we're going to carry it out to all of our sliders on our build. There. And now we're going to take our off value and put it on our negative one constant number. This is our negative one. This is our positive one. We're going to take the off signal and put it to the negative one. We're going to take our on value and put it to the positive one. And now that is it. Now your vehicle will drop inwards on itself because now it has an airbag system. And the airbag system now works. So now we're just going to go ahead and spawn in our creation. All right, now with our creation spawned, we are now able to get up into the seat. We can move it around all we want. But in this case, I'm just going to move it a little ways out. And now all you have to do is click the toggle button and that is it. I have a I have a node wired up from the seat to the toggle button. So now when I press 1 on this on my keyboard, it'll activate that toggle button. And now your vehicle has airbags. Now it is just as simple as that. The airbags are now installed on your vehicle and they now work. So the chassis stays in the same spot and the body lowers to the chassis. And now I could still drive it but it will get caught up because now the chassis, or the body, I guess, now the body is scraping the ground. So you can you can do some tweaks and stuff to that, but I, for an airbag system, I would assume you probably wouldn't want it to be up like this far. I would assume for an airbag system, you'd want it to maybe drop all the way down. But it is just as simple as that. You can design an airbag system in many different ways. Some don't even have to drop all the way down to the ground. You can have some to where they just drop down, um, let's say, one block instead of all the way down to the ground. This does drop down just one block, but maybe you move this track up a little bit. All up to you, but this is how you make a simple airbag design on a vehicle. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful as well. And of course, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe and let me know down in the comments what you guys thought. And of course, we'll see y'all later in another one. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And of course, you're awesome.